So it's as simple as a piece of foam core and then yarn and in and out and in and out and the magic of weaving happens. Art of the Bedside is a new program at St. Boniface, relatively new, it's been going for a year. And the idea of the program is that we take existing volunteers, that are people volunteering at the hospital, and train them and get them outfitted so they can go and do creative programming with patients at Bedside. As part of the beginning of the program, we went to the day hospital and um, one of the volunteers and myself introduced the um, the day hospital participants to um, paper quilting and printmaking. And in the beginning, and there must have been probably nearly 30 people a day taking part in the program, and they'd be sitting at the table, and at the beginning it was more than half of them would be hanging back saying, no, no, I, I'm not any good at art, I don't know how to draw a straight line, and things like that. And we just got them involved by introducing color and texture and, and the materials. And by the end of it, everybody was involved. Everybody was making prints and making cards for their family members or whoever. It was an elderly gentleman, I think he was in his 90s, and he, he was an artist. And when the volunteer went in the room and started bringing out materials and inviting him to, to do something, he got very animated and started talking about how he used materials in the past and, and was very involved in the process. And the family was delighted because this was a, a big um, coming, you know, he, he really opened up and they were very, very pleased about it. He was very engaged for the time the volunteers were there. So we introduced Art at the Bedside as a pilot to see if we could maybe bring art to people in their rooms because a lot of patients spend a few days with us and our main, may not always have the energy or the desire to leave their room. We sometimes get staff who call down who say, you know, we have a patient here who's been here for a long time and they're bored or their family members are not around, could you come and visit? So we do go up and we do hear from them afterwards that they really enjoyed it. Availability of art in many forms in our hospital uh, was really an integral part of helping people process what they were living with whether they are patients living with various types of disease or bad news, families dealing with the effect of illness on their family members, staff having to deal every day with patients who are never uh, healthy or less than healthy. So this environment that we're trying to create is really to help uh, create uh, an oasis, a place where people can find solace or quiet time. So it's an opportunity for them to step outside themselves. So if they're listening to the music, or they're visiting an exhibit, or you know they may be even just observing somebody do art, it's it's a relief from the day to day, and we are, we hear it as much from our patients as from our physicians and our staff about how much they appreciate the presence of all the various artists we have in our hospital. I think art in health healthcare is important because it helps remove some of the sterility. Of, an, of a hospital environment or a healthcare environment. People come here, you know, with their preoccupations, their worries, their health issues, uh, their staffing concerns. And when we are able to offer music or art, I think that it allows people to step outside of themselves, take a moment, uh, regroup, just basically just maybe get in touch with parts of themselves that they might not think that they have time to do elsewhere. So that's, art in healthcare is really helping to create that whole body, mind and soul healing that is important. The day that I was uh, shadowing a new young volunteer, like her first time going on one of the areas to, to do art with the patients, and we went through the whole floor and there was nobody that was able or interested in doing a project in the very last room we went into. And we walked in and there was a, an elderly woman in the, lying in the bed looking very frail and very pale and, and still not moving. And then um, another woman sitting in the chair and I took out the sample of the weaving that we had to show them what, what we could offer. And 
a hand reached over from the bed and took the sample of weaving. could incorporate color and texture. The little old lady in the bed started looking at it very closely, examining it, seeing how it, how it was done. So there was evidently some interest, and when I invited them to take part and you know, try weaving, her legs swung over the side of the bed and she sat up and she was going to find out how this was done. So after a little while, her daughter, she and her daughter were both weaving, and I pulled out the bag of beads that can be incorporated into the weaving, and the hand reached out again and took the bag. So when I left, the, uh, both of them were weaving madly, <laughs> with great concentration and focus, and I think probably totally unaware of any illness or physical condition in that moment. I rather think maybe there's weaving being done in their home community now. So they both uh, got very involved in it.